Hello, hockey fans. My name is David. I thought I would start this video at 3.39 on the afternoon of Friday, 23rd of December, 2022, North America, Eastern Time. I thought I would do this video is discuss uh, the Western Canadian hockey teams and uh, you know, basically following up with a tweet that I put out, video tweet that I put out uh, earlier this afternoon, Eastern Time on the standings with respect to Canadian NHL teams. So, I'm going to start with the Winnipeg Jets because they are in a top three divisional spot, unlike any of the others. We're going to start off with the month of October. One, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, so 11 points for one. So, no, they didn't do great in October, but in November, they picked things up. One, two, three, four of the first five games of wins, five of six, five of seven, six of eight, six of nine, 7 of 10, 8 of 11, 9 of 12. So the Jets, 18 points over 12 games. So an average of one half points per game, or basically three quarters of the available points. December has been kind of a big fag. So start off the month, they ended up losing regulation to the Blue Jackets on home ice. And it was 1, 2, 3, 4, Win four games in a row, four of five, four of six, four of seven, five of eight, six of nine, six of ten, seven of eleven, seven of twelve. So, not great, but it could be worse. We're going to look at the uh, orders, barely in a wild card spot as it is. We're going to go to October, see when they did well. And it was two exhibition games. We have one, one of two, one of three, two of four, two of five, three of six, four of seven, five of eight, six of nine. Wow, these doors are off to a hot start. Twelve points over nine games. November, one. Of two, of three, four, two of five, two of six, three of seven, three of eight, four of nine, four of ten, four of eleven, five of twelve, seven of fourteen, so Half the available points, not great. And we look at December, and it's been kind of a mixed bag as well. We have started off the month with a loss to the Wild. That was on the 1st of December. So, after having played a game the following evening, again, the Blackhawks, the lowly Blackhawks. And the Oilers sweated buckets to win that one. So that's not so good. So this month, Going to their final game, which is to be hosting the Canucks at Rogers Place, starting at slightly after 9 Eastern Time after taking into account pregame ceremonies. We have uh, uh, turned their wins and losses 0 for 1, 1 for 2, 1 for 3, 2 for 4, 3 for 5, 3 for 6, 4 for 7. No, four or no. Eight over seven. Nine over eight. Nine over nine. Ten over ten. Twelve over eleven. Not great. <laughs> Let's see how the Carver Flames done this season. 
So we few exhibition games. We have one, two, three, a four, four of five, five of six, and then things start to go kind of downhill. Then there was a major losing streak, and broken with a win over the a regulation win over the Jets on home ice. Yeah, home ice. Yeah, whatever. And then they ended up, you know, winning their next game before, well, I don't know, winning two or three during the week of the 13th of November, and then having trouble during the week of the 20th, 29th, they ended up beating the Panthers at home, 6-2, December, having some trouble again, you know, losing a close game regulation to the Flames, in which Markstrom came way out of his net to try to stop an attempt by Uri Slavkovsky to score. But Markstrom couldn't quite do that, and that was 1-0 for the Habs at that point. The Flames did make a game of it, but it was not good. You know, it was, uh, the point wasn't there. The offense kind of sputtered and never really got going. And then it was... Uh, and get the, the Capitals got going. Coyotes. Fair one goal win. <laughs> and then they went on another losing streak. Starting with the old losing to the Blue Jackets and Columbus. An overtime game for the Leafs. For going on two wins. Both against the Sharks earlier on this week. Both in regulation 5 2 and 7 3. And then the flame, then the flames just let the Kings back into the game in the third period. Early on, the third playoff caliber team, a missed opportunity to tie the Oilers on points. So now the Flames have one point less than the Oilers do. Have to see what happens. It's going to be interesting to find out. Flames face the Ducks at the Honda Center. Starting a bit after 10.30 Eastern Time, after taking into account pregame ceremonies. So that'll be interesting, but the Flames have to take the Ducks seriously. Let's look what happened with the Flames. Let's look what happened with the Oilers last weekend. The Oilers thought, oh, these Ducks are bond feeders, we should be able to beat them, no problem at all. Well, things didn't quite work out that way. Luca, or let's see here. How do we pronounce dual style, whatever? Alright. The goaltender was, uh. Oh. Uh, Lukash dual style. So. Ready for the Czech Republic. It was, uh, uh. Ducks goaltender. Holds another contract. Alright. Where is he here? What's, what's his team here? Alright, so he's with the Ducks. So it's Philly with the Anaheim Ducks. San Diego Gulls of the uh, of the uh, American Hockey League. So yeah, so that is the Oilers. So yeah. So yeah, the Flames. Yeah, go, where was I? Here? Okay, Flames. Yeah. Don't underestimate the Ducks. <laughs> and now we go to the Canucks. And we all know how badly they started. October, it was after the exhibition games were over. It was time to get in there. One, two, three, and then two points over to the overtime losses. The, the Canucks finally did win two games in a row. A road game against the Kraken, and then a home game against the Penguins. 5-4 in regulation over the Kraken at Klein Pledge Arena, and then a home to the Pens, 5-1. November... Shows some promise, but during the what is there? Where are we going? You know, during the week of the thirtieth of October, which contained no games in October, but in November, it was a mixed bag. So, a regulation loss to the Devils, a uh, a regulation win over the Ducks, and a shootout loss to the Preds. So, three out of a possible six points. And then we have the following week. We have two regulation losses, a regulation win, we have you know, a mini point streak, three games, 
and uh, the Canucks end up, uh, you know, <laughs> on the road against Sens, you know, end up winning 6-4, and then losing to the Habs the following evening, 5-2, and then end up blowing a 2-0 lead to lose the Leafs 3-2 in regulation. Following on the weekend, it was a 5-2 loss to the Bruins. Oh, not too good. Then, after that, a 5-4 loss to the Sabres. You know, an Eastern, in Eastern, road, Eastern, Canada, Eastern U.S. road swing that was, well, basically, what was it? Okay, one, okay, two points out of four, six, eight. Four out of ten points. So, basically, two for five on the wheel meter. <laughs> Not good. End up winning by a country mile over the Kings at home 4-1 before being beaten by the Golden Knights 5-4 in regulation. It was kind of a mixed bag there. It goes convincing, you know, wins on the road against the Avs 4-3 in regulation and then the Golden Knights convincingly 5-1. And a much closer win on the weekend on that last weekend of November 4-3 over the Sharks in overtime. And then it was back at home to face Capitals and yeah, 5-1. And December, 5-1 against the Panthers before a win over the over the Coyotes in overtime, 3-2. And up beating the Habs in overtime, 7-6 on the 6th of December. Well, technically 6th of December, Eastern time. And then overtime went over the Sharks on the road. Before a shutout loss to the Wild at home, got you know shootout win over the Flames, a convincing win or a convincing loss to the Jets five one. Then you know without seventeenth and nineteenth it was on Monday five one Blues, <laughs> and then it was a track beat against the Kraken at home or the six five shootout win and play the Oilers. Uh, just hours from now. So, slightly after, starting slightly after 9 Eastern Time at Rogers Place in Edmonton. So, yeah, 6 Eastern, 6 Pacific TV. Last last week of December and of 2022, there'll be a home game against the Sharks, a road game against the Jets, and a road game against the Flames. So, what I thought I would do is recap How the Canadian teams stack up at home and away. You know how these do that are. First, I go over to point percentage. So, with no surprise, the Leafs are number one among Canadian teams and pretty much close to the top. 70.6. 65.2, we have the Jets. Number three, we have the Oilers at 55.9. The Flames at 54.4 are fourth. The Habs at 50.0 are fifth. The Canucks, 48.4, are 6th, and the Sens are dead last at 47.0. So what about home records? So in terms of points earned, we have the Leafs with 29 over 18 games. The Jets, 24 over 17. Oh, maybe not quite. Yeah. Let's just go with the last 10. So that would be probably a fair comparison because each team has played an uneven number of home games. So the Leafs have um, have earned 15 points over the last 10. The Jets, 12. The same number as the Oilers, so tie there and sends to me. Yeah. 12. The Flames have earned Yeah, same number. That's a surprise. Yeah. So okay, so Winnipeg Jets, Oilers, Sands, and Flames have each earned twelve. So that's tied for second. And then we go to the bottom, we have ten points earned by the Canucks, second worst, second lowest number of points among Canadian teams in the last 10, 
The Habs are way the bottom with eight. So let's see about home records. Which teams have home records that are that you know during which you know that have shown they've earned you know that have shown them having earned at least up you know you know have point percentages at home of at least fifty point zero and those below. So the Leafs have um, so the Leafs, Jets. Flames, Oilers, and Sens have home point percentages of 50.0 or more. The Habs and Canucks have point percentages of of underneath 50.0. The Habs with 14 points over 16 games. All right, let's see here. All right, so we have to be. What is the? Let's go to uh, go to let's see here. Where do we go to? What did I here? So. So let's see here. Oops, skip that. Hey, when these ads pop up here, fourteen over thirty-two percent. So yeah, so when it comes to the halves, it's forty-three point seven five. So forty-three and three-quarter percent of the available points have to earned at home. The nuts over sixteen games we have do 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 thirteen over thirty-two. So we have all right. We have times thirteen over 14. So slightly over two-fifths of the available points. Not good. Let's see about the away records and which teams from Canada have point percentages of at least 50.0 in terms of away records. So the others, the others, Leafs, Jets, Habs, Canucks all have points and edges among Canadian teams of 50.0 or more. The Flames and Sens below. So what about the last 10 games? And let's see how those Canadian teams have done. Alright, have I seen that before? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm with that. So, it's really about so when it comes to the standings there's no doubt the Flames and Oilers have a lot of work to do to remain in the Western Conference playoff race. Whether either Alberta team will manage to do so, hard to know. But there's no doubt about this. I'm really looking forward to as many Canadian teams as possible getting into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Which ones will end up doing so? Hard to know. But I'm going to conclude this with my mention of All Right Then. I'm going to say, go Leafs go, happy holidays, and I hope everyone has a happy new year.